Hello everyone, welcome to Master to Teach Step by Step Guide. Today, in this video, we are going to learn how to store the WordPress media files in the S3 bucket of AWS. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, here I am already logging in the AWS console. We are starting from S3. In S3, before creating an S3 bucket, navigate to block public access setting for this account. In block public access setting, click on the edit button. Here, uncheck the first two checkboxes and check the last two checkboxes. Click on the save changes, type confirm to confirm it. Now it's time to create the S3 bucket to store all the media files of the WordPress site. In the bucket sections, create a new bucket. Give an appropriate name of the bucket. Select your current region. I am from Nepal, so my nearest region is Asia Pacific Mumbai. You can select your own, but make sure it should be the correct region. SL disable recommended it. Fine. Block public access setting. Check the options same as previous. Uncheck the two options and check the last two options. Acknowledge public access. Bucket portioning. Fine. Tag not necessary for now. Default encryption. Fine. Create bucket. Here is the bucket. Okay, here is a new S3 bucket created. Now moving to the next step, that is creating an IAM user. Navigate to the IAM page. Before creating a new user, let's create a separate policy for it. Create policy. This is the Visual Editor. Open the JSON tab. Paste the policy code over here. You can find this code in the description below as well as on the site masterduties.com. We need to mention the bucket name over here. Copy the bucket name and paste it here as well. Click the next tag button. Tags are not necessary for now. Next review. Provide an appropriate name for the policy. Describe the policy so that it can help in the future to understand for what purpose this policy was created. Let's create it. The policy master this policy has been created okay let's move further navigate to the user space click the add user button to add a new user who can access our history bucket provide an appropriate name for it in the select access type check the access by programmatic access next permission select the at as existing policy directly option Source for the policy which you have just created before. Here it is mine. Select it. Next tag. We are escaping tag for now. Next review. Seems all fine. Great user. Okay, here is the access key ID and secret access key which we need to compare in our WordPress site to give access to our S3 bucket. Please don't forget to save it properly because we can't view it again as we close this page. Okay, now it's time to move to the WordPress site. I am working on my site for now, locantali.com. Let's install a fresh WordPress site.
Here is the WordPress dashboard page. Currently, I am working on the default theme. Navigate to the plugin menu and add a new plugin. Source plugin WP Offload. Here it is WP Offload Media Lite for Amazon S3. Install now. Activate it as well. Open the plugin setting page. You must set your storage provider access credential to enable bucket access. Let's process it. Select provider. We are using Amazon S3. Connection meter. Define access keys in the dolphyconfig.psp file. Here is a code that we need to add to our dolphyconfig file. Let's copy it and navigate to dolphyconfig file. I am going to edit it live over here from the file manager. Edit. Scroll down and paste the code over here. Add any custom values between this line and the stop editing line. We need to replace the asterisk with the access key ID and secret access key. Copy it and paste it over here. Again, copy it and paste it over here. Great. Done. Set changes. Okay, great. Now we get back to setting. Here, the page will refresh automatically. It's processing. Okay, refresh to page. Great. Select the bucket, copy the bucket name and paste it over here. Copy it and paste. Save bucket settings. Here, both block all public access and object ownership are disabled, which should be disabled and if you try to enable it, it will not be allowed to do so. Let's check it. Could not change block all public access status for our bucket. Okay, let's keep it disabled for now. We are not storing any media files locally, so enable remove local media options as well. Save changes. Add prefix to bucket path. In the S3 bucket, your WP content and uploads prefix will be added. Similarly, the year and the months folder will be added to the S3 bucket. Same as the object portion to the bucket path, here the media part will look like this. Okay, let's move ahead. In check in delivery setting, I am using HTTPS on the side, so let's enable to force HTTP options as well. Save changes. Here it is. Okay, now let's check whether it is all fine or not by uploading images to the media. Open the media library and add new. Select files. Here is my picture. Let's try it. Uploading in progress. Here it goes. Let's check the path of the image. The path of the image is in the local system, not in the S3 bucket. Let's delete it and go for the solution. Navigate to the WP Upload Media Lite plugin setting and check all settings. Seems all fine. What we have to do over here is, we have to enable both block all public access and object ownership for once and disable it again. Update changes. Could not change it. For that, 
we have to assign the current IAM user to the S3 bucket full access once. Let's do that. Navigate to the IAM page on AWS. We have all done with these keys. We can leave them now. Open IAM. Click in the user. Open it. Click on the Add Permission button. Again, select the same option, attach existing policy directly, and search for S3. Here is Amazon S3 full access. Check it. Next review, Add Permissions. Here it goes. Okay, navigate back to the offload setting. Let's refresh once before we process ahead. Okay, let's enable both security settings. Mm. Okay, setting log, requesting refresh the page. Here are the warnings. Let's disable it again. Uncheck. Uncheck. Update bucket security. Okay, all done now. Seems all good now. Let's check by refreshing the page as well. If we get any warning. Okay, fine. Let's check by uploading images to the media library. Select file. I am uploading the same image. Open. Uploading in progress. Here it goes. Let's check the path of the image. Yeah, you can see the file URL in the S3 bucket, which we created before. Great job. Let's check in the new tab. Yeah, it's all good. Also, let's check in the S3 bucket. Refresh the page. Okay, a WP folder is created. Let's check the path, bucket, master to teach bucket, WP content, uploads, year, month, object key, images as objects. Also, let's check if the images are uploaded to the local server or not. WP content, uploads, year, months, it's empty. This folder were created when we tried them before. In this way, we can set up and manage to store all media files of the WordPress site in the AWS S3 bucket. Let's review the upload plugin settings once. Make sure you have selected the correct region. Enable the removal of local media and all files. In delivery settings, both options are enabled. Navigate to the edit option of Amazon S3. Provider and connection methods are put OK. In the bucket, make sure you input the correct bucket name over here. And last but not least, option security. Make sure both are disabled and make sure you have once enable it and again disable it. Once all is working fine, you can remove the Amazon S3 full access permission to Amazon users. Detach from the user. Refresh and confirm. Okay, it's removed now. Moving back to the WordPress site, refresh once. All is fine here. Navigate to the media library. Let's remove it first. Okay, add new. Select file. Select it again. Uploading. Check the path. Okay, it's an S3 bucket. In this way, we can upload and store all media files to store in AWS S3 bucket over here. I hope you learned from this video tutorial. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. See you all soon on the next video tutorial. Bye.